Okay, so if you're watching this video, it's probably because you're ready to start your watercolor dog project. And I'm gonna do a couple videos here on how to draw different types of dogs. One of the first ones that we're gonna be working with is a pug. So you can kind of see, you know, there's a circle for the head, there's an oval for the body, and then there's other different shapes for the legs and the arms and the tail and we're going to have him in a sitting position so starting off should have about the same size of watercolor paper as what i have here and you're going to start off with if you're going to have a tiara or some type of top hat on your dog you want to start it down a little bit towards the middle top of your paper but if you're going to add more of the other features to it like a bow tie or something then you can start all the way up at the top so i'm going to start about right in through here because i think i'm going to give this one a tiara so starting off we'll start with the head shape and that's going to be kind of like a circle or kind of like a rounded square since pugs kind of have that squished face to them and then we're going to go in and add the oval shape and it's going to go on its side and kind of down at an angle to create that body for them because he is in a sitting position so we're going to start off here and that's going to be more of the chest area for him Start to work that part down to the bottom left corner of your paper and then kind of finish it up on this side as well. That way you get his back and then on to his little hiney here. So then we have the main shape of the body. We have the head here and then want to start working on kind of like where the arms and the legs should be. So because he's in a seated position, you're going to be able to see kind of like his thighs are going to be coming up to like his knees. This is going to come down so it's almost like a U shape or kind of like a backward C. And then we're going to flatten it out here towards the bottom to kind of create his paws for that. And then that's what's going to curl back up into you know, that end of that body circle that we drew. So there's kind of one leg. And then you're not gonna be able to see all of the other, you know, kneecap and the thigh area of the dog because it's gonna be hidden by his chest here. So we're just gonna draw part of what you can see. So, you know, the bottom part of his leg, I guess would be more like his shin and then also here for his actual paw. And we can go back through and kind of erase this line where it comes back through his body there. Okay, so now we've got kind of like the two back legs, or at least part of the back leg that you can see, and then the main back leg that you can see. We still got the body here and then also the head shape here going in and kind of adding the front legs or more like his arms they're going to start about right in through here so not that far away from where his knee would be in the seated position and that's going to come down kind of come in this way and then just like those back falls it's going to start to flatten out Start to work this way now, come up and around. Start to move this one. This one's gonna be in front of the chest. And you're gonna be able to see some of his shoulder. So where that line starts to cross in his chest there, we're just gonna erase this. And then also go back through and about midway up his chest, we're gonna start his other front leg or his arm kind of work that front paw this way and then connect that back up to the body let me kind of make this a little bit thinner here so now we've got 
the um, front two legs and the back two legs and then kind of moving right in through here. Pugs kind of have like that small kind of curly Q tail. So drawing that now, start to curl it up. We don't want to leave it a line. We want to actually make it into a shape because we're going to be painting these. And we want to be able to have something to paint. When you just have a line there, it's going to be kind of hard just to paint that line. So it's going to come up and kind of curl towards his back here. So we've got the legs and the arms. We've got the tail. And then just kind of keep working on up towards his face. And they have like the short ears that kind of like flop over. So to kind of get that initial shape and kind of show you where the ears are, if you were to kind of lightly divide his face into quarters, and we'll be erasing that later so make sure that you draw that lightly, up here in that corner part of this top left quarter, we're going to end up doing kind of like a triangle shape just to kind of show the way his ears are going to lay. So start to draw this triangle shape and we're going to round out this edge instead of making it straight like a true triangle. So it's kind of like a rounded triangle. And go back through, kind of erase that line of his head there. And then we're going to do the same thing for the other side too. So right about here in this top quarter section of his head, we're going to start to draw kind of like that rounded triangle shape again. Kind of curve that out. And then go back through and erase that line because we're not going to need it. And then just kind of draw some curved lines here where it's connecting his ear to his head. If you don't draw these lines, it's just going to kind of look kind of funny. And we're not going to look like he has an actual attached ear. Just kind of erase that little part there. And then he's got his little small floppy ears. And then working into the face shape, Pugs seem to have that smaller kind of um, squished face to them. So kind of starting off, if you keep that cross there in the middle of his face, about right in through here in the middle of that cross is where his nose is going to be. And you kind of do kind of the same shape like you did for his ears, kind of like that rounded triangle. We're going to do upside down there in the middle of his face. And then to kind of create his jowls, we're going to start to draw a circular shape kind of coming down and it's going to come back up and reconnect to the bottom part of his nose. So we got that for the one side and then we're going to need to do that for the other side as well. Try to keep that same shape, keep it symmetrical. And then bring that back up towards the top of his nose and that's kind of like his jowls and that squished muzzled look there. And then to add more to his face here on either side of his jowls that you just drew, we're going to do some circles for the eyes. So there's one and then looks like he's going to run into his ear a little bit but that's okay. So then we start to have just the two circles for the eyes. So really giving some type of expression and start to draw another smaller circle inside to kind of create, you know, the, the pupil part or the black part of his eye. Kind of make sure that they're going the same direction here or he's going to start to look cross-eyed. And then put another little circle there near the top to kind of create that highlight and that reflective look. You can start to go back in now and add wrinkles to his face. So start to, you know, draw them from in between the nose and the eye. Just draw them some curved shapes that go back because they kind of have that squished look to them there. And these are going to kind of create a little bit of an eyebrow shape to them. 
So we're going to have them kind of go up and, and curve around. And they have just a couple more of those just kind of working your way up from the top of the nose, curving them up and work them out towards the ears. It just gives them more of that kind of squished face look there. And then as you start to get towards the top and stuff, they're going to get a little more spaced out. <clears throat> so there's more of the pug face there. And then to kind of give him like a bottom jaw or some type of like bottom lip, being kind of just draw a curved line down here to where this would be his actual mouth and then that's like his muzzle part here. And they kind of have these little dots here on either side of their nose. And you can go back in and add, you know, little nostril holes to make it look more like a dog nose and kind of go from there. So there's the basic drawing of the pug. And for your project, you actually need to take it a step further. And since we've drawn the whole body, then the whole body's got to be in costume. Because just like um, George Rodriguez's Tiffany dog, the blue dog character, is in outfits. Anytime that he has the whole body of the dog and not just the face, then you got to start to be able to draw him in costume. So something that you can kind of do is, since I left room here, from the top of his head to up here to where the top of my paper goes, we can actually give him, or well give her, I guess, a, a TR or some type of crown. So what you can start with that is, you gotta think about where crowns and tiaras actually fit on a dog. And just like on people, they tend to fit on the head. So you gotta think about if they're gonna be kinda part of the ears kind of sitting on top of the ears or if the ears are going to be poking through. And then you can start to make them different designs. So maybe there's, you know, this curved piece here and usually they're symmetrical. So if I extend this line out to where I kind of drew that cross part in his face, that way I can keep it even on his face. I'm going to try to think about how far away is that from here. And I'm going to start this side going over here. So that looks to be about the same size, same distance away. And then I can start to add kind of like another level here. That same shape, just a little more narrow. Going up this way. Doing the same thing for the other side, that symmetry again. And then I'm going to do maybe more of like a diamond shape here for the center. So that's just a basic line outline of the tiara. I need to have it like the band part or the top where it actually is gonna fit on the dog's head. There we go. And then go back in and just like we did for the tail, instead of making it just a line, I gotta have some place to paint. So I wanna go back in and kinda add it into a shape, make it into a shape instead of just the line there. So go back in and kinda add the same outline of that shape that we drew for the tiara. Do it for this last shape here as well. His ears probably gonna overlap that a little bit. And then in this part here, I'm gonna just maybe add what looks like some jewels. So maybe I wanna make this kinda of like a round shape. And kinda of go from there. So now since I have the whole body, now I've got something on his head because I had some space in between. Um, the top of the dog's head and the top of the paper and I've drawn the whole body now I need to add you know some type of outfit for him so since he kind of looks royal I'm actually going to do kind of like a robe so it's going to start here kind of work its way down and I'll actually make it go 
kind of over his leg a little bit. So I'll have to go back in and kind of erase this line here. That way it looks like the robe's overlapping. And then I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than his back. So make that come down, come here. And I can kind of go back through and erase his actual back line. And then maybe I want to add, like maybe it's got some type of pattern here on the edge of it. So I'll go back through and add an extra line that kind of comes down through here. And then maybe this is going to have, you know, jewels or something on it. So I'm going to go back in and maybe do, almost looks like polka dots lining up and down that section of his robe. So I'm going to do that all the way down, making sure that I'm turning those into shapes and not just lines. That way I have a place for the watercolor to go. And then I'm probably going to be able to see some of it on the other side as well, but maybe to close it in, maybe I want like some type of bow. So just by drawing a circle for the center, and then just drawing some triangles on their sides. Maybe that's how it fastens underneath the chin of the dog. And then maybe I want that other side of that robe to kind of come down this way and drape over him. Kind of come this way down towards his front paw. Come over this way. And then because I did the polka dot section, what I was going to make look more like jewels on this side, I'm going to do the same thing for this side as well. And I think I'm going to put that robe in front of his leg there, just by erasing a couple lines there, kind of clean that up. So then I'm going to take that same shape of that line Bring it all the way down to the edge of that robe for him. And then start to fill this end with those polka dots or those circle shapes all the way down. That way it's symmetrical and you can tell that's the same item of clothing or it's the same rope. So then I kind of made into like a type of princess or royalty dog. Now, because our main focus is gonna be on the dog, you don't have to do a background for these. So once you have the dog and then you have a couple of the accessories drawn, um, that's pretty much it. So you can do the pug and you can add your own accessories or you can kind of do like what I have here and kind of do your own version of this. You can kind of decide. You can even go back in and you know give them sunglasses and add a few more details to make it more yours. But this is just the pug and it's done, like I said, kind of like a royalty dog, then that's it for this one.